All right, welcome everybody here on Twitch and also on YouTube for our next deck, which is going to be Orzov Control. So we got uh, we just had a donation deck for Rakdos Control uh, built around Captive Audience, and now we're going to be trying Orzov Control here. Um, so we have we have kind of a similar type deck here with uh, Karn Treasure Map removal spells, sweepers, that kind of stuff. Uh, big enchantment that is really good at the top end. Uh, so it's the same kind of deck, um, but we're going with these other two colors. Uh, I was talking about how in the last video, I'm, I'm pretty interested in uh, Mardu Control in the format. I think Mardu Control has a lot of good stuff. Um, and we played a, a, a Mardu Control deck that I liked the other day. And uh, here we have two donations to kind of try out the separate, uh, the separate ends and see if we can you know, like we're we're trying different cards in our in our control decks here, uh, and so we can kind of see if there is anything that that we that we like on either side that we want to incorporate into a Mardu control deck. That's what I'm kind of looking at here. We do have uh, some masterminds acquisitions in our main deck, where we can go get uh, some sideboard cards after, like even in game one, so we can get a spyglass for like a Teferi in game one, or binding a crackling Drake. Or against a control deck, we can go get a Chromium or a Banefire to help us win the game. Uh, we have, uh, for the blue and the red mana, we have Treasures from Smothering Tithe or Treasure Map. Um, or we can go get Lyra against like a, a red deck, uh, for example. So that's, that's going to be pretty interesting to see how that works out. So let's go ahead and try some, uh, some Orzhov control here. Hey, Kalua King. Okay, I'm starting to build Teamer Gates deck in paper. Do you think the Expansion Explosion version is better than the Niv Mizzet version? Yeah, I think so. I think Niv Mizzet is uh, just fine in the sideboard, um, but I, I like Expansion Explosion quite a bit in there. Why is there no Revel and Riches in the sideboard when you're playing Masterminds? I don't think it's. Basically, I just don't think it's going to happen, but. I mean, there, there certainly could be a Revel of Riches in the sideboard, I guess, to, if that scenario ever presents itself. But I'm... I don't think it's going to happen, but maybe, you know, maybe I should have one. There. Alright, we have a slower hand, but we have, we have our land drops. We have a couple cantrips uh, with our with the rituals. So it looks like we're playing against Jeskai Control, which isn't necessarily the best for us. We have a whole lot of whole lot of sweepers and removal and stuff like that. I liked Jaya in the Mardu Control list a whole lot. Yeah, Jaya uh, really let helped us uh, filter through our deck by rummaging really quickly. I thought it was pretty cool. Alright, so Deafening Clarion down. Let's hold that thought. Let's hold that thought. I don't even have a thought to hold. So if I play another Bell Haunt, the other Bell Haunt will likely um, I won't let you win. Like if I play the other Bell Haunt, they'll they'll likely just play a sweeper. Let's see if we can resolve a Karn here. Hmm. Yeah, this is not a good matchup for Orzov too much. We need to move quickly. We got a lot of stuff in our sideboard, though. Uh, best case scenario for us this game is that we draw. Um, we draw Masterminds acquisition, and our opponent lets it resolve, and then we can go get like a Chromium. <laughs> yeah, we went two two. 
Uh, we had a real tough matchup against um, uh, Bant Nexus the last round. Uh, too many en enchantments. You know, as you were talking about before, not having answers to enchantments at all is really tough. Yeah, but we're, we're certainly a life gain deck, so so yeah, playing against control that doesn't care about the life, so like all of our life gain cards are just um, are you know so much worse. That's that's tough for us. No time for a break. Good call. It's getting this upkeep stopping here. They, of course, don't have any um, creatures in their graveyard. But it is just exile any card in a graveyard. So we, we do have the ability to start exiling these Chemister's Insights uh, from their graveyard also, or, you know, other cards like that. Well, if they have Nova in hand, we'll destroy you their seal what? away. I'm not done yet. Uh, binding. Binding on treasure map. All right, we're not beating this to fairy. We are certainly not going to be that fairy there. Okay, Dawn of Hope. Our own bindings. Duress. I don't even know if I want those bindings or not. We'll see. I kind of just want all these cards. Alright, I uh, don't want this one. Let's see what cards we don't want. I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want this. Um... Yep, the creature's ability will trigger again if you destroy the seal away. Yep, absolutely. I kind of feel like I need the cycle with revitalize. No, absolution's not a card in the matchup. I feel like Mastermind's still good enough. Mastermind's just a second Banefire or second Chromium. What other two cards do I want to cut? No, I mean, revitalize, you know, just cycles. It helps us hit our land drops. Uh, you know, kind of shortens up the deck. Uh, so it does something, but yeah, as you can see, I ended up cutting it. Oh yeah, we're certainly going to need to get lucky to win the game. Absolutely. So yeah, cutting revitalize. That does make a little sense there. Uh, let's try to hit land drop. And I'm going to play Dawn of Hope first. I think I need Dawn of Hope over Spyglass to resolve. Hmm. 
Guess I'm going to be using my mana the rest of the turns. War boss. Dang it, they're going to have a binding for my binding. I can binding there. I can binding there, uh, war boss, but then they'll be able to binding my binding right back. That is them using the binding on that and not something else. I don't think there are... Oh, yeah, there's two contempts in the sideboard originally, yeah. Or Sonic with the donation deck. Been liking Gates... Been liking the Gates deck that's been going around. I want you to try out... I'm uh, going to read it in, in time. Let's see if it comes up here. Streamlabs. Work. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have a gate deck. There we go. Been liking the gate deck that's been going around, and I want you to try my list out and see what you think. Okay. So, okay, so what what day, what spot, Orasonic? We don't, we don't need a sweeper to deal with the war boss. All we have to do is just kill the war boss. We just need to draw, like, a Mortify. Um, you know, unfortunately, because I didn't have lands, I, you know, we mulliganed, I scryed a Mortify to the bottom, but there's four Mortify in here. We just gotta kill the war boss, and then, because the, the Donifolk can, can clear these things up. Alright, Saturday, and then, Saturday what time? Or like, which spot? First, second, third, or fourth? I guess, that's what I meant. All right, so I'll do second. Okay, it's it's all good. All right, so second on Saturday. Sounds good. Hey, what's up, Cryo? Looks like we're pretty dead. We're down to eight, um, which of course the war boss is a problem, but having a, a second expansion explosion, you know, so another explosion, it's gonna be pretty hard to survive that other explosion. All right, let's try to get a different matchup. All right, excited to see some brews. Nice. We got some good ones today. I'm, a, I'm excited about both of our, basically all the decks I was excited about. Um, but certainly, you know, we got Naya Dinosaurs and Esper Angels. All right, not control. Just want to play against not controlled. Our opponent using the Teferi emblem is is a bad sign, but or avatar. But it does look like not control. I 
I just got Field of Ruined and wasn't allowed to get a land. Did you not have any more basics in your deck? <laughs> Use Teferi Avatar while playing Red Deck Wins. I can't I can't use the Teferi avatar. I've seen too too many Teferis. I don't need to see more. What do I want an acquisition for? Opponent's playing some kind of Golgari deck. All right, I know what I want. I want Ethereal Absolution. Huh, yeah, you had ton plenty of basics. Yeah, must have been some kind of bug. That's weird. Oh, yeah, you asked for a sweeper earlier for the war boss because of explosion. That makes sense. wonder if our opponent's just not going to play any other creatures because of the, the, the Kaya's Wrath. That's annoying. Don't kill my treasure map. Ooh. It's pain is our gain. It's so greedy to sacrifice a permanent this early. All right, let me get that. Let's get that upkeep scry in there. All right, so I, I'll be playing Absolution most likely here, uh, which will require a treasure. Um, Bellhaunt seems like a reasonable card. Yeah, that seems like just a reasonable card. I hope they don't have Vivian. Yeah, the Planeswalkers would certainly be really bad for me. Vraska or Vivian. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. I guess I need to practice, or need to, I need to pressure this Vraska. So it ultimates, and then whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, they lose the game. That'll be kind of a tough ultimate to beat. An unfortunate casualty. So any creature can just kill me. Including that freebooter. I'll make you 
use of that. So we gotta find our other masterminds acquisition. So we can go get Go get something from the sideboard for this Frasca. I maybe fired off that I, I probably did just fire off that Masterminds acquisition too early. Kind of weird they discarded Chupacabra. All right, do I give them the revitalize or do I try cycling? Vraska's out of here. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. Let's get this Kaya's Wrath. Your patience is rewarded. And uh, we just got to be able to beat these three cards. Can't take any damage. We're looking. Aha! That'll work. Let's take out first. Well Thanks, Press Any. I like Seraph of the Scales a whole lot. I was certainly underrating the card uh, whenever I first. Uh, considered it. Absolution is perfect. Oh, dang. So it's a 6 5 trampler. So one, two, three. So I can make three tokens. Just be safe, let's make another one. Awaken. What? Oh, at least I can kill that. Keeping the artifact around because I can get bigger with the help of other Karns. Remember, our opponent has the the Vraska emblem out. If you're just joining, so uh, we cannot take a single point of damage; otherwise, we lose. I think we got this though. Whew, they had a trophy? Wow, if they would have just attacked and trophied my absolution, 
I was dead. If they would have just attacked, I they had trophy in their hand. They would have, <laughs> they could have won this last turn. Wow. Ethereal Absolution, definitely good in EDH where you have multiple graveyards to choose from. Yep. Ooh, victory. The opponent wasn't happy about their play, I guess. All right, we are one and one. Thanks, Zexion. The shame concede the match. Okay. I like our hand. Just, you know, get a hit our land drops. Seraph is Seraph is really good. Good road block and then absolution. I like our hand. Yeah, we won through the Vraska emblem. We should not have. I mean, all, all our opponent needed to do is just trophy our absolution and we were dead. But, you know. Sometimes you win games you shouldn't. Is it Drake's? I'm gonna lead with the Bell Hunt because this is a card they I could see them lava coiling. I'd, I'd like I I want them to coil the Bell Hunt and not the Seraph. If possible. Keep a four land hand and then draw seven lands in a row. It's literally amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's always sad. And that happens. Whoa, primal amulet. Primal amulet. Is that an enchantment? No. That's an artifact. I guess the Radical Idea could have told me something was up, because Radical Idea usually just means Phoenix. Um, or I guess Amulet here. I want to see an Antiquities War deck go off with Smothering Tithe and Treasure Maps. That sounds like a good time. Looks like n the answer is no to flipping the Amulet this turn. But they're going to have plenty of cards now all right let's put pressure on our opponent that's an enchantment and kill that thing. Do y'all think they're a Nexus of Fate deck? Yeah, they gotta be Primal Amulet. It's gotta be a Nexus deck. Yeah, they're just another Fog deck. <laughs> yeah, we may not get another turn. <laughs> Thanks, Zed. Glad you're enjoying the playlist. Glad you're here. We've been playing against a lot of these. Nexus of Fate, Wilderness Reclamation, and Teferi Control decks. It's not so fun. Our opponent does have a Nexus here. They get multiple turns. Multiple extra turns. I'm 
They're still fine if they have a Nexus. Like, they still have the 7 mana. Looks like it's not a Nexus. So they're trying to decide how to stay alive, it looks like. How they're reading all my cards. Or... Maybe it is. Who knows? Yeah. Mountain Spell. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and just recast Seraph and Mortify the Wilderness Reclamation. Those are going to be my two cards I play this turn. I could see playing Karn instead of Seraph. Certainly need a, so I get to mortify plus play a four drop. Mortify first for spell pierce protection. Okay. They don't play Spell Pierce? Well, well dang. Yeah, I, I could certainly see waiting on the Mortify then till their turn. I kind of did it for the, the Spell Pierce protection, but I, I could cer certainly see waiting until their turn and waiting until their second main uh, where they like tap all their mana and then uh, try to destroy it then. Um, Looks like they got another one of those, though. And it looks like they have another one of those. Oh, it's ex a copied explosion. Does that kill me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that just kills me. Does it get copied twice, though? With Wellspring with the two mana, or does it get copied once? It does get copied twice. It does. That's pretty incredible. We were dead either way. I wasn't exactly sure how that worked. Alright, this is definitely a binding matchup. Duress. Um, Spyglass really stop anything? It didn't stop anything they just had there. So Absolution's out, Ritual's out. Maybe Smothering Tithe. Yeah, I mean, they just untapped with 8 mana. Or sorry, with 7 mana, played the 8th land... Wilderness, Wilderness, untap, 36 you. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll have time for the Smothering Tithe, though.
I don't know. I like having the binding where we can binding the primal amulet or the wilderness reclamation, anything like that. Uh, I, I definitely want to put Takali in, in the main deck of Mardu Angels. I'm I'm not I'm still not I really don't know if it should be with over Vanguard or Tithe Taker. Honestly, don't know. I, I could see Tithe Taker coming on out also. But I, I want I want Takali on her guard. So minus, 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 minus. If I go minus, minus, play a new one, minus, minus, new one, minus. You do kill pretty quickly. Or I tick up and kind of dig towards duresses. So do I play the long game, try to look for duress, and stuff like that? Or do I try to aggro them out by minusing a bunch? I don't think the aggro them out plan is going to work. I'm going to tick up. Would have really liked to find a duress the first time, not the second time. Because I, I don't want my binding to get countered. So I gotta wait till next turn. I have to have let them have a turn of wilderness reclamation. Because I have to protect the binding with a duress. I tried to call it, it's actually super nice in a lot of matchups. Yeah, it's really not bad. Which, which, uh, what do you, which two drop did you replace it with? And, um, you know, what's your opinion on which two drop you don't like the most? I saw a Mardu Angels 5-0 list that had, that had a Danto and Takali. So they, they replaced Tithe Taker. Um, and they were also, they are playing a few less Angels. They had t Deafening Clarions in the main deck to go along with it. Yeah, especially with Esper being uh, uh, heavily played, the new Esper mid-range deck, it certainly makes Takali even more um, uh, valuable, or like more of a, a card that you want. Yeah, Angrath. Yeah, Angrath is just really good in this format. It's a really good card. Correct. Takali does not stop Riot. No. Okay, so yeah, you took out... Gotcha. You took out Adanta Vanguard. Right? No, I, I, I completely understand what you're saying. I, I'm underwhelmed with, with... Or sorry, you took out... Uh, sorry, you took out Dante Vanguard. Yeah, I'm underwhelmed with the Dante Vanguard all the time. Campaign feels too slow now. Prob probably. I could certainly see that. No, I don't think Wilderness Reclamation will be banned. All 
All right, well, I guess I'm not going to use... I guess I'm not using a duress to protect binding. I guess I'm just going to binding. Yeah, Nexus is pretty broken in best of one. I think it, if something would change with the format, I think it would be Nexus, like the the uh, random buy a box card, then Wilderness Reclamation. But I don't really expect either to happen as of now. Um, but I, I could certainly see it happening. Wilderness Reclamation does kind of feel like you know, it, it feels pretty messed up, like the like what it allows you to do. You know, it, it's not. You know, with with the longer people play a card like Wilderness Reclamation and tune the decks, I could see them becoming awesome, but we're not really quite there yet. Alright, I'm, I'm getting this duress with them having Primal Amulet in play. I will fight with honor. The time has come. Gosh. You're gonna start main decking on Mordigo. I have played against people with main deck on Mordigo here in best of three. I think it, it it could make sense in best of one. I don't think it would make sense in best of three, but if 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 Nexus is dominating in best of one, it it would make sense to do that. But you don't need a main deck in best of three. JW Player with the sub for the second month in a row. Keep up the good work. Have loved your content for a while. Thank you so much, JW Player. Let's get in some hype votes in the chat. As our second subscriber of the day. And I guess we've had we've had some su subs kind of wear off from a month ago. Looks like we've gone back a little bit. Haven't looks like we're down to 29 subs still. Your efforts are futile. Yeah, we have four donation decks today. We have been a little unfortunate here playing against a lot of... We played against, you know, this is our second control deck or, you know, second deck that uh, our life gain doesn't really matter. Which is a tough matchup for us. Yeah, Esper Midrange certainly a thing, yep. 
Yeah, we played against Jeskai Control and then this. Unfortunately, just the bad pairings for our deck, unfortunately. So it's not looking good. It's looking like we're going to 1-2. You know, we're wanting to play against Creature Deck with all of our life gain stuff and Wraths and everything like that. So this Kanta is, a, is an amazing card, but at least it costs four mana to get them a a card. So that's why I took Ex Explosion. They can just get them a ton of cards right away. This Primal Amulet's almost flipped. Could really use an Ixalan's Binding for a draw step for it. Maybe I should have just been taking up the cards looking for Ixalan's Binding, I guess. Probably needed to. Finding? Ugh. No. Alright, aggro time. So I start the plan I started last time. Awaken. I am card. We're not winning a longer game now. Now that we used Something up our interaction. Must be built. So let's put lethal on the battlefield for next turn. We'll put him down to 10 and have a whole lot of attackers for next turn. Looks like they'll likely flip this primal amulet. Um. But the, they need a whole lot of mana to be able to copy an explosion and kill us next turn. If they have a Nexus of Fate, though, copying a Nexus of Fate gives them multiple turns, and then we're probably dead uh, in that scenario. Okay, so that flips the amulet. Yeah, the copy would still have seven CMC. Yes, they you can you can't ex expansion it. No. Yeah. Like the the copy of Nexus of Fate. Whenever they use the Primal Wellspring. Still makes it so they they cannot go like Nexus with a copy and then expansion the copy of Nexus because it's still seven CMC. Where is it? Well, that's good. Well, that's good for me. All right. We got him. Hmm. I forgot I have four Kaya's Wrath still in here. When I was looking at when I was looking at like cards to take out, like I just missed this Kaya's Wrath down here. So, I think we can certainly take out some of these. Uh it was really good against their their creature though. Um Maybe I should leave like two in and have like two smothering tithe for extra mana. We could stop the Ascanta land or treasure map. So they play treasure map and Ascanta. So actually, maybe Spyglass isn't so bad. Someone should give 29 subs, including me. I agree. No, it does not stop the Primal Amulet land. Because that's just a man ability. Um, I'll take out a couple of revitalizes. 
Let's get this other smothering titan here. Okay. Treasure map and smothering tithe are our ways to get red and blue mana. But those matchups that we need the red and blue mana with like the Banefire and Chromium, those are matchups where we don't need uh, we don't need that early whatsoever. I mean, this is four lands, three spells, but I mean, come on, these three spells aren't beating our opponent. We need a mulligan this. We're gonna find better interaction. All right, we have Duress and Treasure Map, which I like those two quite a bit. We don't have a second land, but we're on the draw with a Scry. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Gosh, Binding is so good, but I, I need a land. They could survive killing two Karn Tokens? No, they, they could not. If they would have killed two Karn Tokens there, the, the Karn Tokens would have turned down to two twos. But then my, my Karn would have minus to made another one, which would have made them three threes. And so they would have taken three, six, plus the four from Seraph, which was ten, and they were at ten. So they didn't have a way to survive. Come on, deck. Magic's fun. Opponent's hand was good, though. Alright, let's see what we can take. Uh, just in the gate. <laughs> You've never won by keeping a hand with one land. This always happens. Oh, I've... This doesn't always happen. It happens sometimes, but one hundreds of times keeping one landers, but it's certainly risky. We we're already at six cards though, so like mulligan it, we'd have to go down to five. And with the combination of duress and uh, treasure map, I liked my option more. Um, with that six, because we do have a lot of cards that don't matter too much. They're going to starve Extinction one of my lands away. That is just so rude. Nope, Wolf. I, I do not make any content for them anymore. All right, well, we are... We are one and two, so didn't do too good, but that was a really tough matchup. Kept a, you know, took a risk there with that tough matchup that uh, if we found the lands, we could, you know, have a, a good start, but we didn't. So with our deck kind of overall, um, we knew that it was going to be tough playing against control control. Uh, decks or decks that don't have creatures very much, uh, spell heavy decks. That was going to be a tough matchup, and, and they were. We played against those twice. We lost both times. Wasn't very surprising. Um, fortunately, we didn't get to play against a whole lot of creature decks. So, uh, t packs are 200 gems. So, there we go. All right, so that's Ors off Control. So, both Rakdos and uh, control and Orzov Control, the two, our first two donation decks had had some pretty big holes, and I think we, like, I think just kind of combining those and playing Mardu is where I'd want to be. Not sure I, I, I don't think I, that either two color combination gets better without the other color, um, and 
I think I'd just prefer the Mardu Control. We, we played Mardu Control a few days ago. Uh, this was It was also a donation deck, but I liked this one a whole lot more of kind of combining the two and having like the, the Rass for a lot of creatures, Burn Spells for early creatures. Theater Horrors was a really good uh, card advantage engine that was cheap. Um, yeah, I kind of recommend just playing playing Armada Control. I, our sideboard was was really bad, but it uh, didn't really matter too much because our main deck was really good. All right, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.